So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this type of cool looking highway system in Unreal Engine 5. So I already make a tutorial for how to make roads in Unreal Engine 5. So if you didn't watch that tutorial, then I will recommend you to watch that thing first and then then you can easily create the road system also in Unreal Engine 5 with Spline easily. So you can watch that tutorial to make roads in Unreal Engine 5. And for this one, I will show you how to create like this type of vehicle system in Unreal Engine 5 using Spline system. So the first thing that you have to do, I will just stop this simulation because it is consuming a lot of memory of my computer. So yeah, I just stopped this simulation. Okay. So what you have to do first, uh, you have to just uh, download this BP spline or you can make your own. So I'm not going to show you the step how to make this BP spline. There is a very great tutorial of a guy named the name of his channel is like the game dev uh channel and he makes a uh, like this tutorial how to move multiple actors along with spline in unreal engine 5 so i will just leave the link in the description you can just click on that and you can watch his tutorial so in this tutorial uh that guy show you how to create a spline okay how to create this spline okay this this spline and yeah if you don't want to make uh, the spline from scratch then definitely you can go to his patreon and you can download the that spline from his patreon it just costs like one dollar or two dollar probably it's lesser than that and yeah you can definitely buy that uh, blueprint from his website so i can provide this blueprint uh, in google drive for free but i'm not gonna do that because uh, it means that i'm taking the credit like i think it, it will not right okay so if you want to download that blueprint then you can just go to his patreon or you can watch his tutorial it's very simple it's like you can easily make that thing in like under 10 minutes or you can definitely make your own blueprint also okay so after making the blueprint what you have to do uh if you watch his tutorial properly then uh you will see uh what you have to do you have to create this spline okay along your road okay like this so for for me it's like a pretty big road for but it will be totally depend on your project how big your road is so for me it is quite big so it looks like for me it took like 20 minutes to properly set the not 20 minutes like 15 minutes to properly set this plan along the road so if you see it was i just put like this uh like that much like this one and i just rotate this spline like that and yeah like that only i make that whole scene okay after making this thing uh what you have to do like uh you have to assign your uh, car smash into your blueprint okay like that you have to assign your car mesh into your blueprint so it totally depends on you how much car you want in your scene so i use like 700 cars in my scenes so you can see I use 700 cars so I'm not recommending you to use that much <laughs> that many but yeah this scenes require that much traffic so I have to do it and if you want that much car then you can you have to do this thing okay so yeah it's a little bit work to do like you have to create like 300 stuff like this and you have to assign your cars like that okay and this car models are from Unreal Engine uh, city sample you can just go to the marketplace and you can just download and and yes this um this vehicle variety pack also i uh, use this pack car pack okay so you can use this thing also and you can use city sample pack also so if you go to city sample you will see uh, like there is a city sample vehicles you can download this thing and yeah i use this two packs for my vehicles and now the most important thing okay so when you download this pack okay like that vehicle pack you will see something like a uh, like this vehicle variety volume and in the meshes you will see this four cars so in the city sample vehicle uh, you will see something like this uh you will uh, you will not see these vehicles because i just copy uh, i just copy this vehicles in uh, this vehicles in that folder because it's easier for nav uh, navigation like stuff like that okay so i just put uh, all my vehicles in one folder okay you can also do it it totally depends on you and uh, if you want to filter the static mesh then you can just go to this one and then you have to go to this one okay static mesh you have to enable this thing and you will get something like this static mesh okay you have to click on this you will get all of your static meshes in like this okay so the the first most important thing that you have to uh think before making this uh you have to make sure that your all vehicles are in static mesh option okay you can't use blueprints like if you use city sample then you will notice that the vehicles are in blueprint format okay so you can't use like these things 
this this vehicle you can't use because this is a blueprint class okay you can't use this thing in this one okay you have to use static mesh so what you have to do you have to filter the static mesh like this like this and then you have to just write lod okay so when you write lod so what it what it will do like it will be separate all your uh, car models in uh, like this okay like this so if you just try to drag drop this thing without typing lod what will happen like there are a lot of separate parts like tires are separated the glasses are separated the car's body are separated so if i just show you uh, some clips like if you if i just drag drop this truck on the scene so you can see that there is no tire in this van oh my my that camera setting is a little bit higher so you can see there is no tire and if you use like this it will not look realistic also so in order to get the tires you have to make sure that you type lod's so it will be just filtering the all lod's of vehicles and if you drag anything from this lod section then you will get tired the glasses everything will be in one mesh okay so you have to use this mesh okay this static mesh only you can't use blueprints in your bp spline system okay in this bp spline and the other tip that i will give you is like when you are just like if you are making this type of like full-fledged highway like so many vehicles 700 to 1000 vehicles in one scene then it it is very tedious and very time consuming process to just uh like if you go to your blueprint like this then you will see you have to you have to add this thing okay and then you have to just manually select this thing uh, to your cars okay then only it will be assigning to your blueprint okay so it will be very tedious like if you go to your project and like if you uh, grab that thing drag drop to your scene and then you have to do it like that it will be a little bit time consuming so there is a tip what you have to do like you have to go to your static mesh you have to write lod like that you have to select all your model you have to drag drop this thing like that outside from your map and you have to just up this thing like that and what you have to do like you can duplicate this thing okay you have to just press alt and you have to duplicate this thing okay like that and you can do it like many times as much vehicles you want uh if you are using like if you if like if you want like 1000 vehicles or something more then i will recommend you to just duplicate this thing like 10 times or 15 times then it will be very easier for you and then what you have to do you have to just go to your pp spline uh if i go like this you have to just go to your bp spline and then you have to just click click like this okay drag click 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 so it will become a little bit easier for you so if you have to just pick this thing and you have to just assign this thing okay so it just make your life a little bit easier if you are if you are making if you are like if you are putting so many vehicles in your scene okay so you can use this uh duplicate method to fill up your um spline fast and yeah that's it and make sure that you you're using a little bit low texture size do not go more than 4k texture okay so or else it will be just uh make your pc choke and it will not give you that much performance also so you can see i just created so many vehicles like you can see and yeah the other tip i'm gonna give you like if you want if your vehicles are moving so fast then what you can do you can just go to your timeline length and you can increase that timeline length okay it will default it will uh, it will be like five seconds something like that you can increase it to like 100 it's totally depend on you how fast you want your vehicle uh should move then uh, you have to just change this value okay and it will be automatically change the speed of the vehicles and this offset uh between actor will is is like the distance between these two vehicles okay like that and some of the vehicles will be clipped if you use like tall vehicles continuously like this it will be clipped so in order to fix this uh what you have to do you have to just assign a small car between these two vehicles okay and that's the trick and the other thing that i want to share you is like you can see uh, my cars are like floating in the air because i didn't do proper splining um, like i didn't properly align the splines to the ground 
so yeah that's why it is showing like that so you have to you have to make sure that you properly align your spline to the ground or to the road so that it doesn't look like that so for me my shot will be like on the top side like this so it will be not visible for me that much so i didn't focus on this thing that much also so yeah that's the thing and yeah i'm also making a scene of gta 6 from trailer and yeah it will be coming soon just stay tuned and i will uh, i'm working on that and i was in my final stage of that uh, gta 16 production you would, you can say production or <laughs> making anything you can say but it was in final stage and it will be coming soon okay so just wait for it um and i will also show you the breakdown video of that gta 6 scene that how i created everything and if i learn something new in this process of making that gta 6 trailer then i will definitely uh share with you so yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching